Mm. I think I'm sick. Did you sleep in here all night? I didn't want to get you sick, plus I needed to be near a toilet. And now we're married. What time is it? I have to chaperone Lauren's field trip. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> yep, fever. You're not going anywhere. You could wipe out an entire class of sophomores. Nobody cares about sophomores. No, get back in your germ tub, all right? Mm. If you're staying here, I'll go on the field trip. Thank you. Chris. Oh, uh, one more thing. Diane is also chaperone. Are you smiling? Uh, what? Did you just smile? L maybe a little. Oh. I, I, I've been warned to get out of it for weeks. I just didn't know how I'm supposed to... What are you doing? Are you calling a doctor? No, uh, a healer. Hi, Jackie, it's Kate. No. Listen, Pete's not feeling very well today. Could you come by and no. check on him? No, I'm sorry I smiled. I take the smile back. Come on. Oh, of course you could put leaves in our juicer. Bye. I see you're Diane and I raise you a Jackie. Can someone come in and kill me? Excited about the field trip? Yeah, it's fake school. And I saved up all my allowance for the gift shop. What do you want to buy at the gift shop? Oh, gee, I don't know, Kate. Oh, how about a whistle that makes you sound like a frog? Oh, are you excited? Yeah, I get to yell at kids and hang out with your mom for eight hours in a museum. You're worried about her making you feel stupid, aren't you? Oh, thanks, Warren. I hadn't thought of that angle. Sometimes I just wish you were a little nicer to me. Maybe she needs to get some. Warren! <sighs> That's a great idea. You shouldn't be saying that. Oh, look, Kate, we're both adults here. And I think it's common knowledge that when people get some, they relax. Yeah, I know. I'm just surprised to hear you talk about your mom having sex. That's what get some means? What did you think it meant? I don't know. Get some chips, a blanket, whatever makes you happy, you know? Get some fill in the blank. Or it means sex, and that's okay. You know, when, when people are getting it on the regular, they chill out. And frankly, your idea is a good one. Your mom needs to get some sex. Exactly. She needs to get some sex. All right. <clears throat> With another man. Hey, everything okay, Birdie? Couldn't you sign Dad's signature? Now that depends. Is it for a field trip or because you're in trouble? Trouble? Then no. Then field trip. Okay, what did you do? Bert has had to sit out of recess two days in a row for interrupting class with excessive silliness? What were you doing? Nothing, just reading quietly, sometimes a little dancing, a few Burt wheels. Burt wheels? They're like cartwheels, but with screaming. Miss Wickersham's your teacher, right? Yeah. She was my teacher. <laughs> she adores me. Your big sister's going to hook you up. Yay! <laughs> what are you doing? Who hit the wall real hard? Wow, I'm glad I sold high. Oh, ooh, okay, perfect. I am not drinking that. Okay, so here's the deal. Cool. This is gonna go in you one hole or another. I choose mouth. If I drink this, you'll leave. Uh, yeah. More. Um. More. Oh. More. Oh. Mm. Bye bye. I have to stay and check your pupils in an hour. Make sure I use the right kind of mushroom. Right kind of mushroom? Yeah. Give it. No talking. Okay? Because you need to rest. And 
they came and settled here. So we've got five minutes to go look at the Mongolian structure, okay? Hi, Diane. Okay, so, good. This is what I need. A kid should be coming out of the Hall of Birds right now. Then we'll send half of them up to the whales and the other half down to the Asian tapestries. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, how was your weekend? Anyway, I just went to the bathroom, so now's a good time for you to go. Then we will round up Group B, check the worksheets, make sure they're not cheating, and I will eavesdrop on Group C. Eavesdrop? Yes, Kate. 90% of chaperoning is prevention. Jacob wanted to feel up a dinosaur. My eavesdropping prevented that, and now he is going home on the early bus. Speaking of feeling up, <laughs> teenagers eavesdropping. Okay. Hey, Diane, look at those two lovebirds, huh? Even all those hundreds of thousands of so long ago love conquered all you know i mean look look at her face she's so happy and satisfied and... kate yeah go to the bathroom phone group c hi sweetie hey it's me i'm on the house phone I don't have a lot of time. I'm, I'm really in trouble here. I need you to come home and get Jackie. Kate? Pete? Hey, hello? What did I say about not talking to anybody? I'm just calling Kate. Well, don't do it again, because you need your rest, silly. Hmm? What is a herbivore? Hey, Warren. Oh, we, oh, we're working in groups. Here, go wrap this up. Thanks, man. Okay, listen. How good are you at matchmaking? Who are we making match? Your mom. My mom. Yeah. You cool with this? Yeah, sure. It'll kill some hours before we go to the gift shop. Look at this TV, an electronic book. Ugh. Don't you realize all this modern crap is the reason that you're sick to begin with? Or maybe it's because my secretary sneezed in my eye. Oh, yeah, you rat racers with your 80-hour work weeks. Look at me. I work five hours a week, and I've never been sick. Jackie, I really think you should go. I don't want to get you sick. Oh, did you not hear what I said? <laughs> I said I have never been sick. You know what you need? You need a nice, tight swaddle. No, please, don't swaddle. I want to move. There we go. Jackie. Back to the womb for you. Jackie. There has got to be something in the water here, because, Miss Wickersham, you have not aged a day. So nice to see you. What are you doing here? Oh, you know, just walk my little brother to school. I'm her brother from another mother. And father. My sister told me how much you loved cupcakes, so we made you some. Yes, and from scratch. <laughs> no biggie. Very thoughtful. Kate, this is Lee. He loves travel, Japanese culture, and Anne Rand. He's kind of the perfect man for my mom. I am not a man. Yeah. Sorry. Hmm. Oh, I mean, she was perfect. Sarah Seth Stewart. Your table, Tara, Tracy, Victor, your table. But I want to sit with Madison and Alexa. You have no leverage here. Sit down.
Walk, please. Hi, I'm Kate, also a chaperone. Oh. Russ Bradley Morrison. Oh, Grady Russ Morrison's father. Yeah. Wow, well, don't let me keep you from your sandwich. Nope, that's just two pieces of bread and ketchup. May I join you? I think it's more efficient that the chaperone spread out, don't yeah, you? Yeah, totally. So, Russ, what do you do for a living? m and Mixed martial arts? Mergers and acquisitions. Wow. Also cool. Mm -hmm. And does that leave time for any hobbies? I wrote. Great. Wow, cool. And, uh, and does your wife row? Row? I'm divorced. My ex-wife thought I was too high achieving and intense. <laughs> Perfect. <sighs> Sorry, looks like we're going in a different direction. This is Oscar, our Colombian mammoth. Wouldn't want to run into one of these guys in the dark alley. He might eat you. Highly doubtful. Uh, Colombian mammoths were herbivores that consumed up to 300 pounds of vegetation a day. Well, I'll definitely check on that. Okay, you go check. <laughs> hey, Diane. Mm. Sorry to interrupt your eavesdropping. Get this. Mm -hmm. So I'm chaperoning my brains out, okay? Mm -hmm. And I meet this other parent who seems like a really great guy. Cute and single. Do you know Russ Bradley Morris? No, and I don't want to. Really? Because mm -hmm. I feel like you two would really hit it oh, up. Okay. Is all the world a sex club to you? Go pimp someone else, please. <sighs> How did you escape, little boo? I'm going to the doctor. <laughs> no, no. You are in no condition to drive. Not after what I put in your system. You said the smoothie was all herbal. It was, but I put an ass load of codeine in your tea. That's ridiculous. I'm going. <laughs> I'm okay. Totally fine. <laughs> your quiz. Thank you. And may I say, you look as old as you did this morning. Thank you. Would you like some more homemade cupcakes or have my sandwich from lunch? It's cream cheese and jelly. Bert, are you doing all this because you don't want me to keep you out of recess again? Yes, Hillary told me to. You're smart and your eyes sparkle like the ocean. All you have to do to get recess back is control your body and keep the Burt wheels outside. You don't have to be such a suck-up. What's a suck-up? Your sister. I shouldn't have said that. This conversation never happened. What conversation? What? She actually said that? Yeah. But this conversation never happened. She called me a suck up. Where are you going? Hi. I'm going to give Miss Wickersham a piece of my mind and bring her this apple. Hey, Dan. Uh, me and Warren, we're gonna go roam around. You should come with. <laughs> and give up my place in line for the Orchid Pavilion? <laughs> Thanks for the comedy entertainment, Kate. The Orchid Pavilion? Oh, it is the centerpiece of this museum. And they only let in a few people at a time to maximize the tranquil beauty. Okay, go ahead. Back in the line. Go ahead. Warren! Got to get your mom and Russ Bradley Morrison into the Oregon Pavilion together. Oh, chicka boom! Oh, chicka chicka boom! 
Oh, yeah. What are we, what are we saying? No, mind. Just, where's our man? Where's our Oh, no. We'll never get in at the same time. Oh, oh I'm way ahead of you. Wash and crank up the rumor mill. Hey, guys. Guys. There's going to be a fight in the plasticine room. Pass it on. Hey, guys. There's going to be a fight in the plasticine room. Plasticine room. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Fight. Come on. Fight. 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 Get on it. Thank you. enough coating in a tea to knock a bear out. Who are these people? What are they doing in my house? There's no people. That's a hallucination. So go back to sleep. Sleep. I command it. Sleep. That's right, Russ Bradley Morrison. You know you like what you say. In the Middle Ages, orcas were considered an aphrodisiac. But the only thing turning me on in this room are the curves of your pantsuit. Kiss me like you did at the Indian Heritage Museum. Behind the Potawatomi Lodge. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! What's going on? You know him. Uh, no, no, I don't. Here we go again. Unbelievable. She does know me. She knows me very well. She's been to my condo because we've been seeing each other for two years. Oh. I am not a cheap museum booty call. I'm a man, Diane. <laughs> Ross Bradley. It's over. Oh, I'm sorry. We only open this door every ten minutes to provide the proper uh, humidity for the orchids. So you've got six minutes. <laughs> You, but I sure learned a ton about orchids today. How dare you meddle in my personal affairs? Dan, I was just trying to help. I mean, I thought you'd get along with him, which apparently you did for two years. I mean, can we just acknowledge here? I nailed it. Do they not teach tact in trade school? You just destroyed my relationship, Kate. What were you thinking? Diane, no, I... No, 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 no. I really want to know. I want to understand and study you the way I would study a caveman. Oh. Well, to be totally honest, I just thought that if you were getting some companionship, that maybe you would be nicer to me. I see. If I got laid, I might relax. Well. Not in those words. We might be friends even if I just got a little roll in the hay on a regular basis. Definitely not in those words. Why would you keep your relationship a secret? I mean, it's not like you're running for office. <gasps> oh my god, are you running for office? Let me spell something out for you, Kate. I succeed at everything I do. I have one failure, my marriage. This relationship, private, because it's my business. Oh, I get it. Mm -hmm. And maybe if it didn't work out, no one would have to know that you failed. And I want to know how much milk to put in a latte, all 
will ask you. Until then, dear, no advice, please. I was never a barista. Never a barista. Don't even like them. What the hell is a goal screw? Goals, goal-oriented adult lady entrepreneur goals. We're basically a business support group of women of a certain age who haven't yet gone through menopause. See, we help each other achieve our goals through encouragement and repetition and repetition. Do any of you people have jobs? We have goals. My goal was to finish what I started. So when I agreed to take care of you and nurse you back to health, I didn't let anything get in my way. You didn't nurse me back to health. I'm sicker than I was before. Oh, you're right, Jackie. He's really negative. Uh, nobody, nobody asked you. Jackie, you, you trapped me in my bed. You cut me off from the outside world. You drugged me? It's, it's like the plot of misery. You know what? I think you're being a little dramatic because what I did, what Jackie did, is rearrange her entire schedule... Okay, and I'd like a little bit of gratitude. Goals, 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 goals. Goals. You know what? You, you want to know my goal? I want all of you out of my house in ten seconds, or I'm gonna sneeze, scratch, cough, wheeze, and lick every one of you. I'm changing the locks. Going in the crawl space and boarding up the dog dog. Well, that. Lord, help! This will only take a minute, Nancy. At first, I was offended that you called me a suck up. But on the ride over here, I realized something. What you call a suck up, I call a go getter. So I am going to keep go getting because it is going to go get me places. First, it's going to go get me into college. And then, it's going to go get me into law school. And finally, it's going to go get me a job clerking for Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor. So suck up on that. <sighs> By the way, this is for you. It's organic. So your mom's mad and it's kind of my fault. And I really wish I could talk to her, but she won't listen. Ugh, that bites. Can I get some money for some astronaut ice cream? Come here. Wait. <clears throat> Warren, I know what you're afraid of. Scissors. Failure. Mm. Don't let trying to be perfect get in the way of you being happy. I mean, sure, you can play it safe and never put yourself out there, but... All that really is is you just being afraid, you know? Everything great that's ever happened in my life has been because I've been willing to fall on my face. You're right. You know what, for now on, I'm not gonna focus so much on being so perfect. You're welcome. Go play. Excuse me. And now, today's planetarium show, entitled Math, the Building Block of Space. Excuse me. Um, before we begin, uh, there is something I'd like to say. <clears throat> Do you see that man? I know that man. I know him and have talked to him. And I enjoy talking to him. And I hope to talk to him again sometime in the future. Thank you. That was beautiful. You did great. <clears throat> what? Thank you for your help. Why? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's official. There's no life on Mars. When will they ever learn? I could have told them that years ago. 
to her. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm.